56 is important to Patagonia because really it's an example of what we do every day with all of our products. Um, we're continually looking at bringing the best product to market, minimizing our harm along the way. What we did moving this forward was bringing that ultra lightweight platform to hiking, uh, trying to maintain some of the durability features. We chose leather because it's one of the best materials to wrap around a three-dimensional space. Um, the foot's a very complex organ, there's a lot of moisture coming out of our feet and it also breathes very well. Leather is a complicated topic, one because it comes from the beef industry. Uh, some say that leather is a byproduct of this industry. Uh, we recognize that we have a responsibility in that overall carbon footprint. We use some of the best tanneries in the world um, and we know this by working with the Leather Working Group. The Leather Working Group is an, a trade organization that understands the ins and outs of the tanning process. Some of the things that uh, our partners are doing are looking at making sure the chromium is staying in that closed system, um, increasing their water filtration system so that again, almost all of that water is reused continually and, and never gets back out into the environment. So when we look at the midsole, the most important piece was to have a very lightweight compound, 25% lighter than most compounds in the marketplace, also very durable. Uh, we needed to wrap that aggressively around the heel pocket to make sure we had enough support in the heel and also balancing that with a very flexible forefoot. Vibram's been a key supplier of ours since the beginning. When we launched the footwear program, we started with about 30% recycled content in the outsole. We've been able to move that forward to 50% recycled content, um, also adding in some virgin material into the high wear zones so we don't sacrifice on the durability. A couple of goals that we didn't meet. One, we wanted to have the boots resolable. This is the best way to extend the life cycle of the product. When the sole wears out, you add a new one on. Um, we focused on bringing a product to market that was unique. Um, so the lightweight component of the EVA midsole um, took that uh, option away from us. Another goal of ours in the future is to move away from uh, some of the toxic glues that we use. Um, we're looking into moving towards 100% water-based uh, glues in the future, uh, also marrying that with you know, reinforced stitching and other ways to make sure that the durability isn't compromised. So we feel like we did a great job balancing the performance side as well as moving the environmental contribution forward. Mm -hmm.